I'm Ali. Imagine if you were caught in a hurricane, flood, or thunderstorm. Or what if a tornado or winter storm were approaching? Would you know what to do? Clearly, I would panic. But that's no solution. So my friends in the Weather Center are sending you and me on a mission to find out what to do when severe weather strikes. If you can complete the five weather challenges, you can become smarter than the weather and earn your Young Meteorologist Certificate. If you're up for the challenge, click the Start button. Woohoo! I knew you were up for it. Let's prepare and survive. Salutations, candidate. <laughs> he means hello, player. I'm meteorologist Phillips. And I'm meteorologist West. Thank you for assisting our aviary associate in his perilous quest. Oh, Professor. He means thanks for helping Ali become a young meteorologist by completing these challenges. And you'll become one too, if you succeed. Indeed, a meteorologist is someone who studies the Earth's atmosphere, climate, and weather. To become a young meteorologist, you will have to complete the Severe Weather Preparedness Adventure. Gracious, where did those trumpets come from? Your mission, if you decide to accept it, is to get Ali from the starting line to the finish line, where we are in the Weather Center. This is where we first met Ali, and if you want to hear more about that, simply click on Ali's story on the main menu. This is the game board for the Severe Weather Preparedness Adventure. Who keeps doing that? It may look easy, but don't be fooled. Along the way, you'll have to navigate five severe weather challenges. Hurricanes. Harrowing hurricanes. Lightning. Electrifying lightning. Floods. Flash floods. Tornadoes. Tumultuous tornadoes. Winter storms. Wacky winter storms. And when wacky winter storms... It's the first thing I thought of. You will help Ali move through each storm by playing games and collecting weather-wise pods with important information. Along the way, we'll be giving you extra information that you may need. You will need to know all this information in order to earn your Young Meteorologist Certificate. And that, my friends, is the Severe Weather Preparedness Adventure. All right, in the future, no trumpet players in the Weather Center. So, are you predisposed to initiate this undertaking? He means, are you ready to begin? If you are, click the Go button and let's get started. You will begin with the first weather challenge, the hurricane. A hurricane is a severe storm system over warm ocean waters. It begins with warm surface air that is constantly in motion. When barometric pressure decreases and the corresponding condensation levels... Um, West, maybe I should explain it. In hot summer months, when ocean waters become warmer, the mixture of warm air, cold air, and warm ocean water sometimes makes the clouds begin to swirl. That's what I was going to say. All of these things work together to boost the storm's energy and strength. And if the conditions are just right, a cyclone or hurricane is born. A tropical storm with winds at least 74 miles per hour. Now roll the dice to start learning how to prepare for a cyclone or hurricane. Ah, a most fortunate occurrence. Huh? He means you're in luck. You've landed in January, a winter month when the oceans are cool. That means you are safe from hurricanes. Remember, it takes warm ocean water to fuel a hurricane. Woohoo! We're safe! Roll again. You've landed in September, a late summer month when warm oceans create prime conditions for hurricane formation. Oh, no! Roll again. The National Weather Service is tracking a hurricane and has issued a hurricane watch for your area. Oh, no! What'll I do? What'll I do? Ah! It appears our feathered friend is freaking out. Calm down, Allie. You have two to three days before the hurricane reaches land. Think of the watch on your wrist, which tells time. A hurricane watch means you have time to prepare, so move ahead to prepare for a hurricane. 
During this time, you should listen to the radio or television. Excellent idea. Perhaps there's a good game show on. No, West. We need to listen for information about the approaching storm. I knew that. The weather reports will help you decide whether to stay in place or to evacuate, which means to leave home for a safer location. That's what the hurricane watch period is for. You have to be smarter than the weather. You must stay in place or evacuate. But either way, you and your family will need to gather items such as food, water, and emergency safety products. Find the hidden WeatherWise pod and drag and drop it onto your smartphone. This pod has a detailed list of what you will need. You must have this information to earn your Young Meteorologist Certificate. Good news! The local authorities have determined that the threat does not merit relocation of your domicile. Whoa, is that English? Meteorologist Wes means you won't have to relocate. The local weather authority says it's safe to stay in place, so this is what you'll do. First, remove any objects around your house that the wind could pick up and slam into windows, cars, or people. To advance, click on the four objects that need to be put inside. Next, you must cover the windows of your house. Click on the best way to do this, with hammer and nails, or with tape. Very good. Nails are the best way to attach boards. Better yet, your home can be equipped with emergency storm shutters over your windows. However, when it comes to fixing broken eyeglasses, tape is better than hammer and nails. Believe me, I found that out the hard way. Whoa! What's that? What is that? It's the National Weather Service. They're alerting us about a hurricane warning. We're doomed. <coughs> Goodbye, cruel world. Oh, Owly, don't be so dramatic. You should be fine if you remember to stay smarter than the weather. The hurricane warning means you must take protective cover. Indeed. The winds will be at least 74 miles per hour and arrive within 36 hours. Officials will describe the hurricane's strength on a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the strongest. Whatever the strength, you must remember it's too dangerous to stay outside. So, move to the safest, nearest structure. I don't believe it. I actually understood what he said. Inside your home is the best place to be. Away from falling trees, live electrical wires, and glass. If you're in a house, you want to be above ground level to avoid flooding waters. If you're in a high-rise building, move above ground level, but below the 10th story to avoid forceful winds. If you chose to evacuate, you should be far from your original area by now. Based on our emergency checklist you downloaded to your smartphone, click on eight items you will need. Yes, you have the things you need to ride out the hurricane until the National Weather Service gives its all-clear notice. To get a head start on earning your Young Meteorologist Certificate, review your knowledge of hurricanes by playing the Hurricane Word Search. You can then move on to the second weather challenge, Lightning. But remember, you must play and complete all games successfully to earn your certificate. Excellent! You've chosen to play the Hurricane Word Search game. Simply find all the, the words eye on the, of the hurricane is they the can center go of the storm, up which is and down, calm, and might fool you into thinking the storm is over, but it's not. Backwards. Wait until Good you are luck. notified the storm is over before going back outside.
Hurricanes tend to do the most damage along the coast. If you have time, move as far inland as possible when a hurricane is approaching. A hurricane is a severe storm system that causes powerful winds, heavy rains, and flooding. A storm surge is an abnormal and sudden rise in river or sea level that could sink boats, knock down piers, and flood houses. Planet Now is an international disaster preparedness non-profit organization that helps people and communities plan for emergencies through public education and direct... The Gulf Coast states and southeastern states are the areas most susceptible to hurricanes in the United States. NOAA stands for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the parent organization of the National Hurricane Center, where all hurricane forecasts are issued. You can get a battery-operated NOAA weather radio from your drugstore or large retail consumer store. The radio allows you to hear broadcasts with life-saving information for any place in the U.S. and its territories. Because it's battery-operated and uses radio waves, this radio can work when a TV does not. It's also portable. Nicely done. You're on your way to becoming a certified young meteorologist. Howdy, this is... Can you... Me? Repeat, can... Hear me? Uh, yeah, but you're breaking up. You would like steak with ketchup? No, I mean, I can't hear you very well. Let me. Welcome to your next weather challenge. Lightning. Ali, you... What? Apparently, the electric discharge produced by lightning is disrupting our designated frequency. Shall I translate that? Oh, uh, please don't. He means lightning is messing up our communication. If we lose contact, switch over to channel GERD. Channel GERD? It's a special backup connection. Hopefully, we won't have to use it. Now, in this weather challenge, you must face nature's most electrifying form of weather, lightning. Lightning is a very common and very dangerous type of extreme weather. It can occur almost anywhere on Earth and does happen about 25 million times a year in the United States alone. Lightning usually occurs on hot days when clouds form and become charged with electricity. When the charges become very strong, they shoot out in the form of a lightning flash. Are you prepared to take the challenge? I... I think so. Hurry, roll the dice! <sighs> ah, it appears you've landed in July. Is that good? Very good. Yes! If you happen to be a lightning bolt... No! Hot summer and spring months are when storms that produce lightning are most likely to occur. At any given moment, the Earth can be experiencing 2,000 lightning strikes or more. Roll again. Instructions for lightning preparation lie ahead. or 
bad. A thunderstorm is approaching, and with a thunderstorm comes lightning, which is extremely dangerous. In the United States alone, approximately 55 people are killed each year by lightning. Then how many owls are killed? Well, park rangers estimate that... Oh, never mind. I don't want to know. What do we do? What do we do? You must be smarter than the weather and prepare for the approaching storm. Click the button. One thing you never want to do is get caught outdoors in a thunderstorm with lightning. There's a way to tell how close the lightning is from you. Meteorologist West, would you care to explain it? It would be my pleasure. First, you must know that where there is thunder, there is lightning, since thunder is the sound made by a flash of lightning. Although you may not hear the thunder if it's too far away. You can estimate how close or far lightning is from you with this simple rule of thumb. When you see a flash of lightning, start counting until you hear the thunder. Five seconds equals one mile. Let's give it a try, shall we? Start counting when you see the lightning. Let's see, five seconds passed, so I think the lightning was about one mile away. Is that right? Affirmative. Now try again. We're getting a bit trickier. How far is the lightning now? Click on the correct answer. Not quite. Remember, most excellent. Since it took ten seconds to hear the thunder, the lightning is about two miles away. You should also know... Great danger is... And always... Meteorologist Wes, you're breaking up. I... I can't... Oh no, the lightning is coming and we lost contact. What are we gonna do? Channel Gerd? Who are you? An owl who asks who? That's original. Do you want to stand around and chat, or do you want to prepare for the dangerous lightning? Prepare, of course, but... I'm Gerd, and I've been dealing with severe weather since before you were an egg. I help meteorologists Wes and Phillips with special cases. And you're a special case if I ever saw one. Yikes! The lightning is closer! Here's my first lesson for you. Lightning will usually strike the tallest object in an area. Look around and locate the tallest spot. Go ahead. Whoa! That tree just got zapped with a hundred million volts of electricity. I'm glad it wasn't me. Uh, may I suggest you use those big eyes of yours to look around? What's the tallest thing now? Well, that would be... Yikes, it's me! If lightning is threatening, even getting into a car is better than standing out in the open. <laughs> this is terrible. The lightning? No, the driver charged me three bucks and we didn't even go anywhere. When you hear thunder, don't wait around outside. To help you remember this simple rule, I've hidden a special message egg somewhere. Look around. When you find the egg, click on it. Can you find the message egg? When thunder roars, go indoors. Nicely done. So? So what? The thunder just roared, so go indoors, Owlie. Whoops, right. Hey, a pool. Maybe I'll take a quick swim first. You think that's wise, little owl? Oh. Water can carry electricity, so a pool is a very dangerous place to be when lightning is around. I've hidden another message egg with an important rhyme for you. Can you find it? Don't be a fool, get out of the pool. 
safe at last. Well, yes and no. When you're indoors during a thunderstorm, you're safer. But there are still dangers. Lightning can follow electrical wires and also water. You can get hurt if you're using these items while lightning is striking near you. I have to keep away from everything? No, just the things that can conduct electricity during a thunderstorm. Here's a game for you to play. Look at all the things and just click on the ones you think can conduct electricity. You have 20 seconds to find them all or you'll have to start again. That you did. Perhaps I might make a young meteorologist of you yet. I believe you're now prepared for lightning. Yippee! Now what? Play the lightning word puzzle challenge to help earn your certificate, then move on to your next weather challenge. Floods! Welcome to the lightning word puzzle challenge. In this game, you must fill in the blanks to figure out the phrase. You must solve three puzzles to successfully complete the game. Good luck. At any given moment, at least 2,000 lightning strikes are hitting the Earth somewhere. Know your surroundings. Lightning will usually strike the tallest object in the area. So, take precaution because in an open field, the tallest object could be you. A swimming pool is an extremely dangerous place to be during a thunderstorm. You absolutely must get out of the pool or any standing water at the first hint of a thunderstorm and lightning. Congratulations! You've conquered the lightning word puzzle challenge. Welcome to our next weather challenge, floods. And flash floods. We commend you for making it this far, Audi. Thanks, I couldn't have done it without my friend here. But floods might prove to be your greatest challenge yet. To put it simply, a flood is the result of an overabundance of H2O, resulting in an accumulation of extraordinary proportions. That's putting it simply? Auli, a flood is too much water accumulating on normally dry land. Exactly. This can be the result of heavy rain. Hey! Excessive melting snow. Brr, will you stop that? Or by hurricane or tropical storm that can create massive downpours and cause water bodies to overflow. Uh-oh. I suppose you think that's funny. A flash flood is a large volume of fast-moving water. It can come at you like a powerful wave and sweep you or even a car away. Don't you dare. Okay, Auli. We'll demonstrate that on a garbage can over there. Let's pretend it's you. Watch what a flash flood can do. Yikes! 
Ah, it's time to take the flood challenge. Wait, I'm not sure if I'm ready. Where did you go? We can't do this by ourselves. Oh, stop your hooting. You're making my feathers ache. Gerd, is that really you? No, it's Abraham Lincoln. Of course it's me. You'll show me what to do? You already know a great deal. What did I teach you about surviving weather disasters? Uh, you have to be smarter than the weather. Bingo! Just remember that, and you'll do fine. Now let's get going. Hurry, roll the dice! Flooding can occur at any time of year. Any time? Think about it, Ali. There's rain and snowstorms in the winter, rain in the spring, thunderstorms in the summer, and hurricanes in the late summer and fall. Yeah, you're right. A flood can happen all year round. So roll the dice again and be ready. That's just your snooze alarm. Not a chance. The National Weather Service has issued a flood warning, which means there's flooding right now. Better shake those tail feathers. I have no idea what to do. Be smarter than the weather, Ali. Think. Where's the smartest place to be? Uh, uh, well, if a flood is coming, I think maybe I should get to a high area. Right. You need to get away from low-lying roads and other low spots. Find the message egg to help you remember an important rule. Turn around, don't drown. Catchy, huh? I got a rhyming dictionary for my birthday. It means remove yourself from danger before the flood gets to you. But how can you tell if a flood is coming? If streams and rivers are rising, that's one sign of a flood on the way. Is the water rising in the stream? Click yes or no. Yes, the waters are rising. A flood is on the way. Yow, we have to get out of here. Good idea, but where you run is very important. You must run to higher ground. Hurry, now! Hurry, pick a safe spot for me to go. Excellent. You gotta be kidding me. Now what? A flash flood warning has been issued. The first thing to do is identify immediate dangers. Think, what can flash floods do? Uh, they can carry away garbage cans that look like me? What else? Let's see, flash floods can pick up cars, wipe out bridges, and even really big things like trees and boulders. Yes, you're a wise little owl after all. Can you find the six items that could be dangerous to you in a flash flood? You have 10 seconds. Hurry, click six things that the flash flood can move or destroy. Excellent. Always remember, when you're caught in a flash flood, just like a regular flood, the best thing to do is to get to higher ground. And there are some things you should keep away from. Storm drains, irrigation ditches, dry washes, and other waterways, like creeks and streams. So, I'm safe. Oh yeah, except for one little thing. How little? Well, the same storm that brings the flood can bring lightning. Whoa. So you have to remember your lightning safety guidelines, too. Maybe I should get in that car down there. You think that's smart? Watch. We'll use the Owly garbage can again. When there's a chance of floods, you must watch for flooding on bridges and low points in the roads. Can't you just drive across it? That's not a risk worth taking. Click on the other end of the bridge to see what can happen.
That poor garbage can. Look for another message egg to help you remember an important rule. You mean more of Gerd's rhyming words? You might be fast, but flash floods are faster. If you try to outrun one, you'll end in disaster. That's pretty good, Gerd. Not as good as turn around, don't drown, but pretty good. Flattery will get you everywhere. Do you like to go camping, Ali? Camping? Yeah, I love it. Then there are some special things you should know about floods. Not another rhyme. Not this time. Just find the WeatherWise pod and drag it onto the smartphone. So, my nocturnal friend, I think perhaps you are ready to begin. Begin? I thought we were finished. Ha ha ha! You wish! First you must pass the super duper flood barricade, then move on to the next severe weather challenge. Tornadoes! Ah yes, the flood con- I knew you could do it. Salutations, and congratulations, Auli, my boy. You've made it to the next severe weather challenge. Yes, way to go, Auli. But you have a major challenge coming up. What is it? Tornadoes. Fantastic! I love tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes, plum tomatoes. Not tomatoes. Tornadoes. Oh. A tornado is one of the most violent things nature has to offer. A tornado is a fierce, rotating column of air extending from a thunderstorm to the ground. It's actually a big cloud, most often black in color and shaped like a funnel whose wind velocity may reach over 200 miles per hour. 200 miles an hour? Imagine the unfathomable destruction a tornado can cause. Brace yourself for this photograph. Whoops, that's my office. Here it is. A tornado did that? In the blink of an eye. So it's crucial you be prepared for one. So let's take the tornado challenge. The sooner you learn how to prepare, the better. Roll the dice and let's get started. Tornadoes can occur anywhere, anytime. It's true. Tornadoes have hit all 50 states at all times of the year. But they most often strike the central and southeastern United States between April and June. Roll again. Tomato warning. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Roll again.
tornado watch. Does that mean I can go outside and watch it? Not at all, my Aviary associate. That's something you should avoid at all costs. A tornado watch means a tornado is expected to develop in your area. Remember, a watch means you have time to prepare. But this is serious business, Owley. You must get yourself to the safest place possible. Let's see if you can be smarter than the weather. Here are four possible things you can do when there's a tornado watch. Click on the two that you should do. Excellent. Go indoors immediately and listen for important weather bulletins. What happens if I stay outside? Tornadoes look pretty cool. Cool? Demonstration time! Permit me to demonstrate just how destructive a tornado can be. See that mobile home over there? Yeah, it's very nice. I agree. Click on it to see how it'll look after a tornado gets through it. Oh no! Tornadoes really put the mobile in mobile home. Now click on the pickup truck to see what else can happen. Tornadoes really put the pickup in pickup truck. Even permanent buildings are not always safe. Go ahead and click on the skyscraper. Tornadoes really put the sky in. Okay, enough already. I get the idea. Tornadoes can be tricky because you can't always see them. Sometimes they come at night, and sometimes they're disguised by surrounding heavy rains. Most of the time you can hear them, but sometimes you won't. What do they look like again? A funnel of dark, swirling clouds. And there's often thunder and lightning. Anything else I should know? Did I mention the heavy rain and hail? No, rain and... Ouch! Hail! What am I doing out here? A tornado is coming! A tornado is coming! The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning. A tornado has been spotted in this area. Yeah, spotted by me. <laughs> I guess that would make you a spotted owl. How can you joke at a time like this? It's time to be seriously smarter than the weather. Okay, here's what we do. First, we have to get indoors. The best place is, um, below ground. Quick, help me out. Click on the safest place to go. Superb! A basement or storm cellar is the safest place to be during a tornado. It's better than being outside, but I think you can find a safer place than that. Yeah, but what if I'm on my way home and there's a tornado warning? Excellent question, Mr. Owl. There are many different places you may be, so you have to be able to think on your feet and make the right choices. Here are four situations you may find yourself in. Click on each message egg to discover what you should do. If you are at school, follow your teacher's instructions and remember drills you've been taught. Go to an inside hall on the lowest floor. Crouch near the wall, facing the wall. Bend over and put your hands on the back of your head. Keep away from windows and doors. Stay out of big rooms like the gym, cafeteria, or auditorium. Listen for news with your teacher from a battery-powered radio or from a NOAA weather radio. in a store, office, or other building, go to the lowest level and stay away from windows and doors, and protect the back of your head.
you're outside, crouch low in a ditch or near a strong building, and protect the back of your head. If you're in a vehicle, get out of the vehicle and go inside a house or building. And don't try to outrun a tornado in a vehicle. Wow, that can save my life. Chigurd, I wish there were a way to print out all those important tornado safety rules. How'd you do that? I majored in meteorology, but I minored in computer science. Go. Not bad, not bad at all. I'll make a meteorologist of you yet. Now let's put your lessons to the test, then move on to the last severe weather challenge, winter storms. Behold, the Tornado Brain Challenge. This is where we separate the owl from the mere fowl. You're going to see a list of words for a short time, and then they will disappear. Click on go when you're ready, and good Congratulations, you did it! You survived tornadoes! Hi, Owly. You've completed the first four severe weather challenges. Way to go! Yes, indeed. We've been most impressed by your admirable preparedness for multiple exigency. Thanks, I think. So, what weather will we be facing this time? We're ready. Bring it on! We'll give you a hint. It's cold, it's white, and it's dangerous. 
Let's see what's cold, white, and dangerous. Oh, I know, polar bears. It's snow, Owly. That was my second guess. <laughs> Woohoo! Snow! I love snow! I love it too, Allie, but things can turn from fun to dangerous very quickly if you're not prepared. What are you talking about? Snow's a blast. Snowmen, sledding, snow angels. Woohoo! You'll see, Allie. Roll the dice. Go ahead. Roll the dice. Winter Storm Watch issued. Yes! Ali, you don't appreciate the gravity of the situation. Who, me? I love gravity. Do you know what a Winter Storm Watch is? Of course I do. It's, er, uh, when a winter, er, uh, uh, wh wh what, was, what was the question again? The cold is affecting your brain, Ali. Prolonged exposure to low temperatures can impair one's thinking. He's right, Ali. A winter storm watch must be taken very seriously. W what does that mean? A winter storm watch means there is a chance of heavy snow, ice or sleet, an ice storm, and dangerously low wind chill. It can even mean a blizzard might arrive in the next day or two. You have to prove you're smarter than the weather, Owly. Are you ready to take the Winter Storm Challenge? Can I have some hot chocolate and maybe sit by a fireplace first? <laughs> sure thing, Owly. But then, back in the game you go. Owly? Owly? Where are you? Oh, hi, Gerd. What are you up to now? I was, uh... Never mind. I don't want to know. Let's begin with a simple question. What's the best place to be during a winter storm? Florida. Owly. Okay, okay. The best place to be is inside your house. Right. So get inside where we can prepare for the approaching storm. You should never leave the house during a winter storm unless you absolutely have to, even if the electricity goes off. Now let's see if you're smarter than a winter storm, Owly. Think of things you may need in a winter storm if the power went out or if you were trapped for a long period of time. Choose the five things you should have in your home in case of a winter storm. Seems easy enough. Oh, you have ten seconds. Yikes. Press the button to begin. Excellent! Your home should be equipped with food, water, a flashlight, and battery-powered radio with plenty of extra batteries. If you... Uh-oh. I was afraid of that. What? A afraid of what? That's a winter storm warning. Severe winter weather is definitely coming. So be alert and stay indoors. But in an emergency, when you have to leave the house... You have to wear the proper clothes to survive. What sort of proper clothes? Excellent question, Ali. Let's take you outside and find out. No! American Owl is about to come on TV. If you absolutely, positively have to go outside in this weather, you need to dress properly. In this next challenge, you're going to do just that. I don't think this is a good idea. I'm not really an off-the-rack kind of guy. And please, no horizontal stripes. They make me look short. You are short. Now, from the two choices, pick the right one to wear if you're outside during a winter storm. Go ahead. Choose what I should wear. Very good. Several layers of thick clothing like wool or fleece will keep you warmer than a single heavy jacket. Great. You try flying with this on. Now what will keep your hands warmer, gloves or mittens? 
Sorry. Correct. Mittens will keep your hands warmer than gloves. Technically, they're claws, not hands. Now what should you wear on your head? I always thought I'd look dashing in an aviator's helmet. A helmet or hat? Earmuffs and hood? Excellent. You should try to cover as much exposed skin as possible. If you absolutely must go outside, attach a lifeline to yourself and to the house so you don't get lost in a blizzard. Guess I won't be flying south for the winter. <coughs> oh good, we can drive south. Not likely. Many people get trapped in their cars during snowstorms and blizzards, so don't go out under these conditions. But if you are stuck in your car, you can survive just fine if you plan ahead and prepare a car safety kit. Click on the box to see what's inside it. Whoa, what is all that stuff? That stuff can save your life if your car is stuck in the snow during a blizzard. Your car safety kit should include a first aid kit, snacks, a flashlight, a cell phone, a blanket, a small shovel, booster cables, paper towels, a windshield scraper and snow brush, tow chain, knife, a bright colored cloth, and a pail of sand or kitty litter. Kitty litter? I don't even have a cat. Kitty litter or sand thrown under your car tires can help you get out of icy trouble spots. Actually, I don't have a car either, but I get your point. Now let's imagine your car is stuck in the road somewhere during a snowstorm. I told you, I don't own a... I said imagine, okay? Sheesh. Let's imagine you do own a car and it's stuck in the road during a snowstorm. Find the message egg for tip one. Tip number one. Tie a bright colored cloth to an antenna or pole. It will help rescuers find you if snow covers your car. But once you do this, get back in the car and stay put until help arrives. Now find the message egg for tip two. Tip number two. Exercise? You're kidding, right? Nope. You need to keep warm, so exercise. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, swing your arms. Anything to keep your blood moving. Gotcha, Gerd. Now find the egg for tip three. Tip number three. Run your engine for ten minutes every hour. But keep the windows open a bit to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. Now see if you can find the next message egg. Tip number four. Make your food and drink last as long as possible. Why? Can't you just use your cell phone to have more food delivered? It's a blizzard, Owl. The roads are impassable. Nobody's delivering anything. I said nobody's delivering anything. Sheesh. Now see if you can find the final message egg. Tip number five. Leave the interior lights on. You should leave the ceiling light on at night so you can be seen by rescuers, the police, and the pizza delivery guy. Yes, and the owly. Just kidding, just kidding. So, that's it, Gerd? There is one more thing, Owly. In order to complete the Winter Storm Challenge, you must conquer the Wind Chill Challenge. Remember, you must successfully play and complete all the games before you can earn your Young Meteorologist Certificate. The Wind Chill Challenge. Do you know what wind chill is? I think so. The wind chill is what the temperature really feels like when you include how hard the wind is blowing. So the harder the wind blows, the colder it feels. Correct. This game is relatively simple, but speed counts. For this first section, using this wind chill chart, just pick which combination of temperature and wind speed is colder. You must get all four correct to advance. Well done!
All right, we did it. Yes, you did. Congratulations. Congratulations indeed. You've survived hurricanes, lightning, floods, tornadoes, and winter storms. And Gerd's rhymes. You and your friend are now certified young meteorologists. Now enter your name and click the button to print your official certificate.